Hello and welcome to episode one of the Rebooted Podcast. This is Dr. Nicole, and we have decided to give the Get Your Life Back podcast a facelift. And so we're now calling it the Holistic Inner Balance Natural Mental Health Podcast. And I am so excited about this transformation because I have the amazing opportunity to bring on board a very good friend of mine, and I would love to introduce her to you. So she's on the video if you're watching the video, and then she'll also, of course, be on the recording. But everyone, meet Hadley. Um, let me tell you about why I have gotten her on board. We're so lucky, and she's going to bring so much to the conversation. And so Hadley, Hadley is an Ayurvedic guru. She's an academic and a healer. And her mission is to teach people how to transform their habits, their health, their bodies, their energy, their confidence, and all of the other things in order to lead less stressful and more joyful lives. And Hadley is a huge part of our community. She is in the membership and offering mentorship and support. And you could also connect with her directly in her online program called Happy Healthy Habits, which is so cool in the uniqueness of how it combines concepts from behavioral science, habits for optimal health, and group dynamics to help her clients to actually make lasting and influential changes in their lives. And so Welcome. Thank you so much for being here, Hadley. Uh, I am so, so excited to be here. I This idea was just like a little seed in our minds a little bit less than a year ago. And I'm so, so excited that it's finally happening. I just think so incredibly highly of you and all of the amazing work that you do and have been doing for so long. And I mean, I'm just floored by the amount of really, really amazing high quality content that you create. And I am so, so honored that you want me to join you here on this podcast. Like I am just absolutely, I don't even know (laughs) how to describe how grateful I feel. Um, and I just have full body chills all over (laughs) doing this with you. So I hope that I can, uh, I can live up to the task of being a, a uh, co-host on this podcast. This is going to be magic and everybody, maybe you guys have walked along with this journey with us. And if you haven't, like, it's just been like straight up unicorn science. Like, I don't (laughs) even know how it happened. Like sometimes we meet people and it's like our souls have been friends for lifetimes. And I really feel that with, with Hadley, I feel that with you. And we have some really cool stuff in line for you as a listener. And really the heart of this podcast is to teach you how to be your own natural mental health expert to uncover and discover and come back to your true self. And this is a really big passion of mine is to help us reclaim agency, to take back our power from the experts who tell us what's wrong with us and what to do about it and who are ultimately in control of our lives. And so this is all about giving you back that power, teaching you how to heal mind, body, and spirit so that you can share that with your family, with your kids, with your friends, with your partners. And you're going to learn a ton of amazing things that are pertaining to natural mental health. And Hadley is bringing a lot of really cool new stuff to this conversation that's a little bit out of my scope. And so it's going to really well round it out. And so here are some examples. Um, The first one that Hadley and I talked about is herbal remedies for panic, depression, and mood. You asked, we're delivering. That's the most common question that I'm asked, especially on my social media is 
what remedies, what herbs are good for this, this, and that? How do I use it? How do I dose it? How do I know it's right for me? We're going to answer that throughout this podcast. And then Hadley, you're an Ayurvedic guru. And so you're going to bring some Ayurvedic strategies to the table, right, sister? Yes. I'm so excited. I get asked all the time about Ayurveda and it's, I mean, I've been doing this Ayurveda work for a long time, but it is now becoming really popular and people are are really interested and it's because it works. (laughs) And it's because people are disillusioned with some of the, um, you know, some of the medical model that we have going on, not to say that there's anything wrong with the medical model that we have. It it serves a purpose in some areas and it, it doesn't do as good of a job in other areas. And so Ayurveda kind of fills in that gap. It's like the mother, uh, the mother of all medical sciences. There's, there's evidence for that 5,000 years old and then doing it for forever. And so I just have such a deep deep reverence for it. Um, and absolutely am so passionate about sharing that with everyone. So we're going to, we're going to bring that ancient Ayurveda wisdom and bring it into the modern world. We're going to use modern day science with that as well. It's kind of my passion is to bring those two things together and we're going to make it really easy, quick, easy, simple life hacks for lots of different areas of your life, including sleep, including the way you eat, including the different habits that you have, the different self-care practices that you have. So get excited for that. It's going to be good. And if you guys haven't heard Hadley and I before, go check out the other podcast episodes where we actually talk about Ayurveda and we get into all those details. So just as like, a preview of some of the cool stuff to come. You can get access to that. And one of the cool hacks that Hadley's taught that we're going to bring back to this podcast is sleep. Like there's some pretty amazing solutions in there that are really useful that make a big impact. And I've been, I've actually been using a lot of those tips that you gave us last time. (laughs) Thank you for that. Amazing. Yes. <laughs> Another topic is, did you know that your hormones impact your mood? Well, you're going to learn natural tips for getting your hormones back on track. And also there's this magical word called dosha. So Hadley, tell us about what we're going to learn with doshas. Yeah. So this is like in the realm of Ayurveda. This is like the thing that people want to know the most about because, uh, because I think most of the time uh, in our Western medical system that we've got going on, there's like a one size fits all approach. And everyone's like, but I'm not the exact same as everyone else. (laughs) And you're not. Uh, And so Ayurveda has this beautiful system of three different doshas, which are based, which are basically the five different elements of nature coming together in, in our bodies. And we can have imbalances of any of the doshas. And it's a really great system for just looking at, okay, I have an imbalance here. So this is what I can do to actually balance, you know, uh, bring that back into balance. Um, So we're going to go into that. It's, it's really fun. We also have a quiz. So a dosha quiz. So make sure you take that to see which dosha is most prominent in you um, and where you can kind of start to start balancing some of those things in your life for better health, well-being, happiness, joy, all of the wonderful things. I want all of that. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. This podcast is really unique too in that the philosophy is different, you know, so there's a lot of podcasts out there that are absolutely wonderful. And I listened to them and my heart was to kind of fill a gap where I felt like I was getting a lot of questions and there wasn't a lot of information about how to find really good answers. And it can be incredibly overwhelming. If you're already stressed and feeling overwhelmed, you don't have the bandwidth to listen to you know, 10 podcasts a day and read through all of the, the mini books and the resources online. Like it's just a lot. 
And so the heart of this is to really bring together in one place had the role of holistic medicine, including Ayurvedic medicine, and traditional Chinese medicine and vital resiliency and naturopathic medicine to really bring these trauma informed therapies to the conversation in a way that is empowering and accessible and easy so that you have that resource and that you are equipped with tools to actually get your life back. And, you know, the lens I think is really important. The, the philosophy through which we see symptoms and, you know, I love the beautiful description that Ayurveda uses and, you know, Hadley and I've talked about some words that come up that are really similar in Ayurveda and a philosophy that I follow called vital resiliency. And I remember one word that you and I just gushed over, over smoothies in Michigan was wonderment. Mm -hmm. Yes. So good. And, and so, you know, vital resiliency talks about the goal of the doctor, the goal of medicine. What I want you as a listener to get out of this podcast is how to be vital or fully alive and how to be resilient, which is able to stay fully alive despite stress or adverse events around you that you're able to maintain your strength and your, your centered, your conviction mm, and all so of the good. natural things that we talk about here will help with that. What is the lens? Hadley, can you explain what is the lens of Ayurveda in yes. health and wellness? Yeah. So, so the, the word for health in Ayurveda is svasta in uh, Sanskrit, which is the language of, of Ayurveda. And so that means health on one hand, but it, it really, it means being seated in the self, which I just love that because and it's basically what you just described. <laughs> um, it is, it's shedding all of the layers of the illnesses of the mental health challenges that we have of the traumas of the things that we were told that we're supposed to be, of the societal expectations. And it's shedding all of those things and just coming back to our true selves. It's being seated in that capital S self, in that just kind of a knowingness. Um, and when, you're, when you get to that place, and, you know, unless you're enlightened, <laughs> uh, you aren't in that place 100% of the time. You've maybe glimpsed it before. You maybe have been like, this is it, this is it. And we're gonna help you to taste that more often and to kind of, to kind of get glimpses of it maybe at first and then to step further and further into that and live more more often from that place of true self, or, you know, you, you can call it whatever you want, spirit, soul, higher self, true self. Um, but that is kind of how I look at all of this, because, you know, you can be as healthy as, you know, as physically healthy as you want to be, but still not be satisfied. And, you know, it all plays into each other. And the whole point of it is to get to that place. So that's what we're going to try to help you do. So we're here for, and we're going to be showing up for you and we've got your back. And so join us and be a part of this podcast. And if anybody in your world would love to learn about how to be their own mental health guru, to be their own natural doctor, to be their own trauma-informed clinician is share this with them, tell them about it. And of course we love suggestions on conversations, or if there's somebody that you want to hear from, let us know and we'll, we'll do our best to get them. Cause we're, we're excited to share and learn. And there's so much great information out there that we're going to bring to you. So Hadley, I'm so glad that you're here. This is going to be, this is going to be an amazing journey. So thank you. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for having me.